In this video, we'll be taking a look at the internal components of an in-tank brush pump. Here at the bottom is the fuel inlet. At the top is the fuel outlet with integrated check valve and the electrical connector. Let's take a look at the components inside. This is a turbine impeller. This is the motor armature and the commutator. And here inside the cap are the brushes. The interior part of the casing is also lined with magnets. This is a ball and spring check valve. When the pump is shut off, the valve closes, maintaining fuel pressure in your fuel lines. The disc-shaped turbine impeller is keyed to fit over the shaft of the armature motor. The electrical charge travels through the brushes into the commutator. The commutator then passes the charge onto the armature, which is made up of copper windings. The windings are magnetized by the charge and push against the stationary ring of magnets that surround it, forcing the armature assembly to spin. When it spins, the turbine spins, and it pushes fuel from the bottom inlet through the interior casing and out through the top. This pump's commutators are made of carbon. Carbon commutators last longer and are compatible with pump gas, race gas, and ethanol. Another important feature is a pressure relief valve. It's a ball and spring valve located here in the top of the pump. It's a safety feature that opens if pressure ever exceeds 100 PSI. For more information about fuel pumps or any other products, visit us online at deechworks.com.